DC has released publicity photos for Souls of the Departed, and I have a bunch of them, and a lot of you asked me to do reviews of them because you want to discuss the photos further. And at first I thought, well, maybe I'll just wait for the trailer and we can talk about them there, but then I realized, let's do it now because it's Once Upon a Time on the Once Upon a Time channel on YouTube. Like, gotta do it. There's a lot of photos. I think there's about 18 or so. Like, if I was going as in-depth as I do in my shot by shot trailer reviews, this video will be over 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to keep that, uh, that time length down because I don't really feel that these photos warrant that much of a discussion because there's just so many and so many of them are the same. So with the, with the closeness uh, of like the Peter Pan photo of him in one part of Rumpel shop to him in the other part of Rumpel shop shop, uh, I'm not going to say that truly warrants a discussion because he's switching positions. What else can I talk about? But we will talk about him being in the shop. So let's start off with the image of Charming and David. Uh, Charming is David. With Mary Margaret and David in the graveyard. And where is his sword? Mary Margaret, or Snow White, is bringing... Uh, a bow and arrow to the underworld, or bows and arrows to the underworld, but Charming doesn't have a sword? Come on, David, you know, you know better than that. Uh, not really much else to say. I mean, the back uh, behind Snow White, the tombstone, says McNair. I wonder if that's a, just where they are filming and McNair has nothing to do with it, but that's all I can really see for anything interesting. The fact that David lacks a bow and arrow or a sword or some type of defense... Um, it's funny, he's wearing a leather coat, and she's wearing a full-on winter jacket. Now, clearly I know she's pregnant in, while she's filming this, and she needs to stay warm, and so does he. But, uh, he looks like he's ready to fight in a war, and she does not. Um, she actually looks like she's kind of going like, Why am I here, and why did I leave my baby with, with, um, the nuns? I don't know. I, I, I feel like analyzing storybook clothes for new characters is just, it's not fun. Um, like, I want to talk about the Hercules photos more, if you had more from him, because that was fun to do. But this is, they're in a graveyard, they're wearing normal clothes, he has nothing to protect her with. What does he expect? Mary Margaret to do it? Because she could do it. Um, anyway, that's really all I have to say about that photo. It's a bit more negative than I, uh, I like to be, but it's not that impressive. Uh, then we have Emma and David, and we see Mary Margaret behind her. Now, Emma's wearing her jacket, which is awesome. She has a hook's ring on her on her neck, which is really nice. She's holding something in her hand. I can't make it out exactly. Um, it looks like she's about to perform some type of spell, maybe a summoning spell to summon Hades or something. So I like this photo. Uh, anything with Jennifer Morrison or Lana, I think is more interesting by default than anything with Josh or Ginny. Just how I feel. So yeah, she's clearly about to perform something. She looks really, really sad. And I'm curious to see what type of spell she's gonna undergo to do whatever she wants. Um, I'm curious how this scene is going to look visually when it's presented to us because I'm wondering if they're gonna add like that muted tone that they have in the shop scenes. Uh, next scene we have, let's see, this one warrants slight discussion. We got Lana, Henry, and Robin, and they're all looking at presumably Emma performing whatever spell she's doing. Um, Robin has a local goose. Yes, he has a look like that on. Henry, same thing. Regina has a look of concern and anger. Probably anger because she's... Or not anger. I would say maybe concern and apprehension is what I see on Regina's face here. Um, Sean McGuire is actually a pretty decent actor. He just has a really bad face on right here. Jared Gilmore, no pity. Uh, but Lana is... Uh, one of the best actresses on the show, and she's probably wondering what's going to happen when Emma completes whatever she's doing, and she's probably wondering about who the heck she's going to encounter as um, they move up in the underworld or go through it. So I like this photo, thanks to Lana. Like I said, anything with Lana or Jennifer is generally more interesting to look at. All right, the next photo we got. Um, this is just another photo of Emma that I, um, I pulled up, and... I like it. I think Emma looks great here, or Jennifer looks great. Um, well, again, she's holding some type of scroll. I think to her right is Lana. You see the black um, bit of a cloak. I don't think it's hair or jacket, not cloak. Uh, I'm really curious what um, 
what's going to happen. It looks like the wind is blowing her hair back, so I'm curious if it's uh, like the effects of the spell have gone through that she was casting. So I like this photo. I like Jennifer. She, she looks great here. All right, next we got a um, picture of Lana, and it looks like she's reacting to what's happening to Emma's spell, or maybe she's reacting to Emma reacting. And I actually really love the lighting in this photo. It, like, it looks like it's a painting. Um, obviously it's not, and the background is real, but they captured it perfectly. Like, that's the real sunset, or the real sunrise, maybe, it's, but it looks like the sunset. No, sunrise. It's sunrise. They probably did the, the first shooting at night. Uh, Lana looks fantastic right here. I, uh, I love it. And her face, facial expressions are so great. She's a great actress in the term of, um, of uh, how, she, how well she's able to capture her emotions without doing anything wrong. Uh, Robert... Um, oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. Robert Carlyle, thank you, myself, is very good at that too. He's, a, he's an amazing face, facial actor too. I love that actors when they can uh, show what's going on with their emotions without actually having to express them, and Lana is definitely able to do that. So next photo, uh, we, got, we got a group shot. And in this sh particular shot, well, they're staring at something. That's it. I, I don't really have too much else to say besides, oh, look, there's something in the distance that I can't see that's probably interesting because it's like they're not doing anything, they're not running, they're just looking. Um, Jennifer's with her mom, or she's with, uh, Emma's with her mom, and Regina is right next to them. I mean, Regina, Emma, and Mary Margaret are sort of a trio. I love them as a trio in the Neverland arc, but here I'm not feeling the love for this photo just because I don't know what they're looking at. But the next photo we got... Robbie Kay. Now, Robbie Kay is Peter Pan. He's in a suit. He's holding the same thing I believe Emma was holding when she was trying to resurrect Hook over there or, or do something with Hook. So I like this photo because he somehow has the item that Emma needs. I'm assuming that this is happening in the beginning of the episode and that Emma gets it towards the end. And maybe that scene when they're resurrecting or reviving or doing something is towards the end of the episode. Either way, I think Robbie Kay looks great. I'm really curious why they would put him in a suit. Maybe he's trying to act like Rumpel to be a businessman, but I think this is a really cool scene. He also has a voodoo doll or that doll um, right there that he had with Rumpel, which I liked a lot. Of. And then there's also the chip cup for Val, and you got a uh, clock, which is similar to Cogsworth, too. So I like how there's little tropes to be in the Beast and Peter Pan all at the same time. So props to Robbie Kay and the costume designer. Now, the next couple photos we have, um, well, this. Well, before we even get into those, we just have one of Robert Carlyle, the dark one, Rumpelstiltskin, Mr. Gold, looking at Robbie Kay. He's a great facial actor. He looks, he's looking at him going like, why are you here? Peter Pan, why am I dealing with you again? Do I have to deal with you again? Didn't I kill you? Like, that's pretty much what he's saying. I'm over Mr. Gold. I don't want to talk about him anymore because I'm just over him. Like, unless he does something truly horrendous or truly amazing in the next couple episodes, I'm not going to have anything great to say about him, and I'm going to try to avoid discussing him. I like Robert Carla. I think he's a great actor. Don't get me wrong there. I just, I'm not feeling the love for him in this photo. Next photo. So, the next photo we have is... Cora and Regina reuniting in the mayoral office. And Cora clearly has her heart, even though she's dead. Um, she, she's made whole, is the message here. And Regina is looking at her so happy, and she's just like, Mother, we're able to finally be resur uh, resurrected. We're able to finally meet. I'm, what, I'm curious what Cora's unfinished business is, uh, because clearly maybe it was to make amends with Regina to some level. So that I think this is a great photo. Again, Lana just staring longingly at her mother because she wants her mother's love so badly. I can't wait to see how Zelina will react to her mother. Okay, um, on my monitor, which is a Mac, there's like five, six. There's six other photos of Cora and Regina. And honestly, the, we've seen the photos of Cora from the trailer when she turns around. And then we, the other photos are just almost Lana, the same one as L of Lana looking at Cora. They're just different facial expressions, but it it's literally the same opinion that I have of the other one, so I'm not going to show them. So the last two interesting photos, we have an evil queen 
image right here with her Black Knight, uh, Evil Queen. I'm, guess, I'm guessing she's going to make a cameo in this episode. I wonder what the flashback is going to be here. Does the Evil Queen have a connection with Hades? Does the Evil Queen have a connection to Greek mythology in some way? I'm curious to see what's going to be going on there. Either way, Lana as the Evil Queen, always a, always a treat. Uh, I like the dress. It looks. I haven't seen this dress. It looks new. So I like, I'm like. i liking that. I like the costume. Obviously, I like the costume. I like the costume design. And I think that looks great. So I'm curious as to what the flashback will be about. And last but not least, we have an image of the dwarves. There was a picture of Leroy, but Leroy's in this shot too. And also there's uh, Josh Dallas, and I think you can see Ginny Goodwin from the back, but I'm wondering if that's her stunt double, because she's pregnant. Either way, we're clearly going to get some type of Snow White Evil Queen flashback uh, in this episode too, which I'm wondering how that will fit in when it should be really dealing with Emma and Hook. But either way, those are all the photos we have. Uh, the Emma and Hook meeting, I'm more so curious about than the flashback, because as much of a treat the Evil Queen is, I want to know what's going on uh, with Emma and if she can find Hook, and what's going to happen when Rumpel meets Peter Pan, and when Cora meets Regina. I think that will be more of an interesting uh, plotline than just the flashback with the Evil Queen, which, we, which we've seen several times. Either way, that's my reaction and review of those photos. I think they're interesting photos. I think Souls of the Departed will be a fun episode for sure. I mean, it's 100 episodes, so they're going to be doing a lot with it. Uh, and that's probably why they brought the Evil Queen back and Snow White back, because they want to you know, kind of bring the show's um, most known characters back to it. You know what I mean? How Even though the Evil Queen or Regina's been in the episodes all the time. The Evil Queen is what started everything, and same with Snow White. So to have them be a main focus of the 100th episode is important, I think, production-wise and just uh, every, everything-wise. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the photos. Video went almost on for 13 minutes or close to tw or above 12 minutes, so almost 20, I guess. More than almost halfway to 20. So Or more than halfway to 20. Wow. And now I'm just ranting. So thank you all for watching. Leave your thoughts about these photos in the comments below. We will discuss them further in the comments and uh, the Twitter, the Snapchat, the Instagram, Facebook. They're all there if you want to follow me on those so we can discuss further. And I really appreciate for all of you who sent me these photos because a lot of you did. So I really, really appreciate it. So we'll talk very, very soon. And thank you for watching. Bye.